Okay, here we go. So I'm going to compare the Huntsman, the Billy Boot. I was just going to stop at the Billy Boot, but I converted my Irish Setter Mokto here uh, with the grow cord so that all three have the same sole. So I decided to add that one, although it's only a six inch boot, um, not an eight inch boot like the Billy Boot, I decided to um, compare all three. I'm still wearing the 4585 uh, Briar loggers loving those all right so the only reason i'm comparing the billy boot and the huntsman is because i converted uh, the billy boot which originally has a traction tread sole uh, to a grow cord the same as the huntsman so they both have they, they share the same sole. that's the only reason why i'm doing that i've seen uh, some conversions with um, you could have done the rochia sole on the uh, uh, billy boot you could also do a nitro cork, which could be kind of cool on the Billy Boot. Or um, what could also be interesting if you did... Um, oh, I saw someone recently do something with Brian the Bootmaker. They have uh, his sole on the Billy Boot, which I thought looked really cool. So um, the only reason I'm comparing these is Klondike leather, which they share, and the uh, um, grill cord sole. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. Let's compare the three. Um, let's do it. Okay, here we go with the Huntsman in hand, and I want to do a nice comparison. Um, as you can see, so if I just took this boot here with the grill cord and the Klondike leather, and then I grabbed my Iris Setter Mokto here, uh, Klondike leather, it pretty much looks the same family, although the Good, the grow cord here and the uh, grow cord welt on here is much darker. Like this one is uh, stained here and this one is natural, left natural, which I could darken uh, on my own and just stain it. Um, these pretty much look uh, spot on. Minus, if you look carefully or look closely, sorry, there's a little square here of stitching, which if you have the uh, current Mokto in the Black Prairie, which replaced the 9075, uh, you can easily mistake in that for the Irish Setter, but this stitching right here will tell you that it's not an Irish Setter, this little square. It gives it away. Can't fool them. <laughs> but uh, this kind of looks like the way I, I put the grow cord on here, um, it uh, looks like very closely like the Huntsman, a low Huntsman, a six inch Huntsman. I didn't really show these. I think I only posted one photo and I didn't do a video review of these uh, because I didn't want you rascals copying me. <laughs> but uh, I don't think I did a review on these. Um, but um, yeah, I, I haven't even, I, since I, since I um, converted these, I haven't worn them because I, I was going to possibly trade them um, but um, I thought they turned out really cool. And then having um, worn this one and uh, put this on feet, I was like, I guess I, I could wear this a little bit more. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of mock toes like I've stated in the past. Okay, so now let's go to the Billy Boot because the Billy Boot I converted, as you know, um, with the grow cord. And these I broke in, I wore these all over uh, Europe uh, I sought out puddles to step in, um, wore them in the rain because I wanted this, this Klondike leather to soften and it truly, it certainly softened quite a bit. Uh, it probably took me a good, uh, a good three days or so of constant, I think every day wearing and walking around, uh, London, Manchester and in Amsterdam and, uh, just really trying to, um, get that leather nice and, and supple. And it worked. These are completely broken in. Uh, I did have a, a little bit of issue here. Um, and I had a little issue here, like always on my um, mock toes of the, some pinching. Um, but um, yeah, comparing these two, it's like, whoo, this is, the Huntsman is such, it's just a different class. It's a, such a better boot. Um, well, what can I say? Um, well, you can see I, 
from, you know, you have eyelets all going up all the way up on the Huntsman, and then you have speed hooks on, on the Billy Boot. And then the stitching, you know, this is the straight back stitch here, which this allows, I would say, more comfort because this is a full leather piece here wrapped around your foot, and you're not having that split where you have, you know, a leather piece here, this is another uh, leather piece here, then this stitching here. So these are different pieces that could possibly rub on your foot. And this is just that one uh, piece that just kind of wraps around, which I know that this, for some folks, have had um, a harder time breaking in. And could just comparing like the leather itself, the feel, um, granted, these have been these have been worn. Uh, this is a stiffer. This feels stiffer. I know that the who the guy who owns these he has. I think he's worn them maybe twice. Um, and then you know the story about these for me. But this is nice. This is much softer here. Uh, let me grab my. So this iris setter feels more. The feels closer to this because I haven't really worn these that much. I could probably mm, maybe maybe eight times. That could be generous. Um, so this feels a bit closer to this while this uh, leather um, is, uh, has finally broken and is softer. Looking at the mock itself, um, this is just a different class. It's, it's like just so much nicer. Um, what can I say? It's like Rolls Royce here and this is, you know. <laughs> Um, let's see, but the, the old comparison was like, this is like a Cadillac, but a Cadillac isn't a Cadillac anymore. It's like, it's whatever. Do you have to go higher? You got to go Bentley, Rolls Royce. This is, you know, Bentley, Rolls Royce, and this is, um, Mercedes. Okay. You could say, I guess it's nice, but you know, it's not Rolls Royce, Bentley, <laughs> or if you like Ferrari here, you know, and this is, uh, let's see if this is Ferrari, this could be, <laughs> What would this be? Uh, Mustang? How about that? Does that work? Mm, yeah, yeah. Ferrari, Mustang. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, so I, I have a motorcycle, so it'd be like, I got another comparison. MV Augusta. Yeah, for those of you guys who know motorcycles, MV Augusta. And this is a Yamaha. <laughs> okay. Enough with the comparisons of vehicles. Um, what else? Oh, the one thing that I wanted to point out. So I, when I did the review for the, uh, the Huntsman, I pointed out looking at the inside of the boot. So you see the tongue of the Huntsman is just this bl uh, black soft leather. Uh, and I questioned why they didn't do Klondike. Billy boot, same thing, is this black leather with the... Um, Klondike here, and but the tongue is different. Now, when you go to the Iris Center Mokto, you have exactly what I was questioning and what uh, I would think, especially if you're coming out with limited edition boot, for both, speaking for both, limited edition boots, you want, you know, all that goodness. You want this to be here. You want the Klondike tongue. You want it to go all around. Like, why are you cheapening out on, you know, doing a black leather tongue? And this, this is uh, leather lined, yes, of course. Um, I, yeah, they're all, all three are leather lined, um, but yeah, why? I don't know why Red Wing did that. Because this is a, makes it a tough, you know, tongue, and then uh, over time, um, these get, this gets really soft, and if it's not uh, truly gusseted to the top, it will collapse and turn. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. Uh, the laces. So the laces on here for me. Uh, broken really quickly. Um, I feel sometimes when I'm going to tie them that they're going to uh, snap and tear on me. Um, I know that you it's very difficult to get a replacement. They don't have them available. You'd have to go um, maybe with something like this, which you can, I think you can buy these. These are, uh, I think they call it coffee. Uh, it's the same, these have the same laces in them as the, the um, Irish Setter, Mokto, and the Huntsman have the same. Uh, these are slightly different. These, these feel um, cheaper, and they feel a little thinner than uh, this. This feels a, a bit thicker, nicer, uh, nicer leather, leather that will last you. It doesn't feel like it's going to snap on you. Um, what else for comparison? 
the look of these surpasses anything, honestly. It's something that um, I may want to add to the collection, to be honest. Okay, so let's take it to the street and do the on feet. All right, so I'm wearing uh, the Black Selvage uh, work pants by Grease Point Workwear. And so immediately I can feel the difference between the Billy Boot and the Huntsman, uh, especially around here, around the ankles. This is a bit softer. And then there, this, this uh, leather is a bit stiffer. But that could just be because I've broken um, these boots in and uh, the others have not been worn, I think, twice, maybe just twice. But the structure f definitely feels different. Uh, it feels more secure um, in the Huntsman, and um, that uh, straight back stitch uh, on the Billy Boot allows for it to be a bit looser and break in. I feel it probably just breaks in a bit easier. Um, and also with the, the, the grow cord is quite comfortable in both of the, the boots. It does, it's honestly, it could just be because it's broken in um, that, there's that that vast difference. I'm sure if I put on someone um, someone else's um, huntsman that had been worn, it would feel quite similar, especially with that. But that knife pocket, baby, <laughs> yeah, the huntsman does not have that. That's you know the key piece right there. Gotta love that. But um, yeah, I, I also wanted to show uh, just um, the mock itself, looking down, and the difference uh, of the two. Um, the mock you can see on the Huntsman, I, I like that a bit better. That stitch is quite nice, uh, versus, uh, the Billy is just like a, a quick stitch across. This one looks like the, it, it looks a bit higher quality. And now here we go with the Irish setter, the uh, 9874. Uh, this is much closer, I feel. So, um, it, like I had said, it could just be that this leather, the leather is tougher on both. Uh, being that I have not worn the Irish setter as much as I wore the billy boot. Um, yeah, they, they, they uh, look at the grill cord, yeah, because you can see I barely wore those. Um, yeah, it's tough. You know, they they look good together, um, look much closer as far as uh, the structure of, you know, because it doesn't have that straight back stitch. Now, here's a look at... Uh, going down at the toes just to show you the two side by side um both looking really good and again the stitch on the uh the huntsman is just uh much much more impressive and it, they are different lasts so you know the the uh iris setter is on the 23 last and um the the huntsman is a different last so that is key uh to to how they look and to how they fit all right, so there you go. The comparison of the Huntsman, the Billy Boot, and the Irish Setter Mokto. Uh, clearly, for me, the winner is the Huntsman all around. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.